and it's my pleasure to invite her to, stay, to the stage to give us her own view um, for as first speaker. Thank you.
for uh, 41 from 42. And the uh, second year, uh, Maryam was the only girl went to uh, math Olympiad, Roya went to computer Olympiad. And Maryam got again the gold medal here, uh, this time with the perfect score of 42 from 42. And uh, about their team at that year, uh, you see Maryam is the only girl and the uh, gentlemen in uh, suits are the Iranian ones. Uh, their instructor said that it was a very hard time for us because it was a tough job of finding more challenging problems to keep them thinking for a while. They were very quick and very sharp in math. And then uh, in that year, Maryam just uh, published her, fir her first scientific paper with Dr. Mahmoudian from Sharif University. Uh, related to graph theory. And then when uh, they back, um, this is just the uh, um, math um, teacher in the school remembered about her, that uh, I asked her, uh, okay, Mariam, now you need to go to university. Do you like to continue in math? And he said that I love mathematics, but I'm afraid that I'm not quite good at math. So <laughs> she was, uh, her classmate said that uh, she was very humble even after two gold medals. And then uh, she this herself said that uh, yeah, his, she was uncertain about continuing in math until the last year of the high school. And the reason that she decided to go to math is that uh, she met very inspiring mathematicians uh, in Olympiad camps and especially in Sharif University. And uh, having problem solving sessions and informal reading groups with my classmates was two reasons that I decided to go to math. And in Sharif University, he got a fellowship from IPM. IPM is an uh, institute for uh, fundamental research in science in Iran. And uh, her friends and um, her classmates just uh, describe her as a polite, disciplined, smiling, energetic, and humble girl. And this is a figure in uh, that year. And uh, most of the people you see here, uh, this is Dr. Mahmoudian, Roya, Maryam, uh, Dr. Akbari, and uh, most of the people from the uh, Sharif University, Tehran University, and the other universities in Tehran, all of them gathered for, uh, uh, in, uh, for a conference in Yaz. And um, before uh, finishing her undergraduate study, uh, Maryam published her second paper, this time in linear algebra. And then one of her professors reminded that um, she just uh, got an invitation uh, to refer a grant proposal from U.S. Uh, National Science Foundation. And this was interesting. He was, she was just an undergrad student. And then uh, another uh, thing that uh, all of uh, people in my generation remember is a car crash when uh, there was a conference in south of Iran, in Ahwaz. And when the people uh, went back, uh, especially the people from Sharif University and some of them from Tehran University, uh, one of them was my classmate, actually. When they went to back from uh, a conference in Ahmaz, uh, there was a car crash, and uh, they ran went to a gorge, and um, some of them killed. Uh, seven of them were the previous Olympiad students and uh, Olympiad instructors as well. And this is a, a picture of them in that uh, conference just uh, some days before that. And then uh, Maryam went to Harvard University for her PhD under the supervision of Curtis McMullen. Um, he won the Fields Medal in 1998, and then um, Maryam during that time got the Merit Fellowship and uh, Harvard Junior Fellowship as well. And one of the professors in Harvard described uh, her uh, thesis as a masterpiece that yields paper in each of the top three mathematics journals. Her classmates and friends, colleagues, uh, describe her as a determined girl with uh, relentless questions in spite of her language barrier. And um, especially the uh, carrot remind that, uh, remind that uh, she always wrote notes in Persian, asked questions in English, and uh, writes the solution in uh, Persian. And she was energetic and involved in uh, different activities. For example, uh, she was always volunteer for uh, helping the disability peoples or organizing the events and participate in, especially in the events uh, related to the uh, Persian students at Harvard University. And Mike Mullen described her as filled with fearless ambition. Uh, 
during her last uh, year of um, her PhD, he met um, uh, her future um, uh, husband, um, Jan, and then um, uh, they just met each other in a party and went for a uh, run, long run, and after uh, two years they married. And Jan said that, uh, introduced uh, Mariam as a woman with 100 years of plans. Uh, he know that, she, uh, she know that she wanted to do uh, work in mathematics uh, and has planned for 100 years. And she, uh, he said that uh, what impressed me uh, was that uh, Mariam was a superstar, but never talk about herself, just talk about what happens in mathematics, and said that uh, she was modest and at the same time very, very simply uh, ambitious. After finishing her PhD, he went to uh, Princeton University uh, with a research flow from the uh, Mathematics Institute. And this is a figure of uh, uh, Maria. Uh, she's here in conference in 2006. And then in 2009, uh, she went to Stanford University and stayed there till uh, uh, 2017 when uh, she passed away. And uh, in Stanford, the uh, students uh, uh, said that she was uh, very energetic during the uh, teaching times and uh, as a slow mathematician, which is uh, what she introduced herself as a slow mathematician, she encouraged the students to, do be, uh, to be better in math. And uh, she has uh, lots of achievements before the Fields Medal. Uh, I just don't want to uh, go to work and uh, put it for Cecilia. Just, um, list some of them here, and one of them uh, which was interesting was the, uh, this was interesting because I have a photo of that. Uh, the Clay Research Award in 2014, and this is the London Clay uh, presented Mariam's Awards the year after that in conference at Oxford. And then the first woman uh, to win Fields Medal in 2014, and after that, there was uh, lots of achievements. Uh, one of them was named uh, one of the nature, Nature's uh, magazines, Ten to Tell, who mattered in 2014, and elected in different uh, scientific uh, academies, and uh, named an uh, asteroid uh, in her name as Musa Hani in 2014. And then the other aspect of her life as a mother, um, the friends and uh, family described her as a great mother who put all her glory aside and give her daughter the attention she needed. And um, her former supervisor just reminded her uh, by this uh, photo and said that all I will is to remind Mariam by this photo because after she uh, became mother, uh, her first priority was uh, her motherhood. <laughs> And as an Australian, especially in mathematics Australian here, I think it's, it's interesting for you that uh, when they asked about career advice, uh, she was humble and said that I'm not really in the position to give advice. I usually use the career advice on Terry Tao's webpage for myself. And, I think you know. and then um, when they asked her about um, uh, what she, she had to say to uh, younger students and especially girls, uh, she said that I don't think that everyone should become a mathematician, but I do believe that many students don't give mathematics a real chance. I just want to uh, finish um, with the slide, but um, I have some um, part of interview related to just Mariam remembering um, when she wasn't good in math and uh, how we can be better in math. But uh, before that, let me finish with the verses from the famous Persian uh, poet, Hafez. Uh, I think uh, all of us remind Maryam and the inspiring people like, he, like her with this poet. Hargez, in Persian, he said that, Hargez nami radan ke delash tende shod veesh, sab tast bar jalide alam davam ema. The one whose heart has been once alive by love would never die, as her name would be embedded on the scene of eternity. Thank you very much. I just show you the interview I told you.
speaking in schools and there are other kids who are interested in, in math and um, doing like, well in math is um, not uncool. So <laughs> it's, I think that's very important because there is a lot of peer pressure. It could be in some places that it's, it's be, doing math is not cool. I think that that's a lot of pressure on some kids. But it, yeah, I had a, but I, uh, I mean, I can't generalize it. It's just my own personal experience. But um, I think it was a very good experience. And also just to have teachers who motivate you to then go and study things on your own. It's not about, I think it's really about things that you would actually learn in the class. It's most about things that you are just then stay motivated and go and continue and do on your own.